They're on. They're sitting there. The reason that I'm doing this this way on this side is because of this big open area right here. Um, so that if rain comes, it will run off. Um, but yeah, because I do have in mind putting something on this end over here, but I wanted this to be able to run off. So that is the reason for that. Kind of lap siding.
Hang down. that one might make quite a bit of it so um, let's see this is going to be 31 and a half you can still hear that um, it came another rain and this time it came a big one and it lasted at least a good hour if not more and it's still raining so we did manage to get uh, doors made and the top on I didn't film a whole lot because it was blowing in rain sideways sort of and I was just trying to get that put together as fast as possible but I got what I got. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what we were able to get done and kind of explain what is going on. Okay, so what I've got is a really nice countertop right here that is about 32 inches high. I've got two doors made, but I don't have any hinges. I've got one shelf in there and, of course, the bottom, which basically makes two shelves. Um, which I can show you right here. See? Right there. Um, so I'll have to get some hinges tomorrow. And we'll put those on there. So that'll be really nice. Everything will be enclosed. But what I need to do right here is I need to cut out a hole. This right here is a pump where I can actually pump water. So I need to cut out a hole right here that will hold a small basin. And then I will be able to pump water out of this. And in the wintertime, I'll just unscrew it and take it out. 
be sure the barrel's empty, leave it in there before I fill it up again. So this is really going to be nice. Uh, probably what I will do is take me a small 2x2, uh, two two, put on the back side just so something doesn't kind of scoot and fall off the edge back there. But this is going to provide me a lot of counter space to be able to do things. I've got some storage space where I can put my uh, Dutch oven and my uh, pans and a few other things that I don't have hanging up here. And some, you know, uh, different tools, cooking tools and stuff like that that I don't have hanging up. Uh, provide me a place that I can actually store towels and things like that. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be nice. And what I did was is I used all the scrap lumber that I had. Um, it may not have went all the way, but by the time it was done, it ended up like this, and that was the purpose, to make it look like this. The back side, I did lap siding so that if the rain would come and hit that, it would kind of drain off of it. Um, but yeah, this is really going to be nice. So hopefully I can find some sort of a shallow basin to go in right here, and I'll put a five-gallon bucket down on the bottom for it to drain into. That way I can just pull the bucket out and dump it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be nice. So. Hey everyone, well guess what? It's that time again. It's the time for uh, the new giveaway. We'll talk about uh, the winner of the month for July here in just a little bit. Uh, but what I want to talk to you about is the item that we're going to give away for the month of August, which we've decided that we're going to give away a draw knife. Um, this is something that I purchased to be able to skin the bark off of uh, trees or any type of lumber that I might be using. Uh, in order to help preserve it longer so that, you know, most bugs nest underneath uh, the bark on the outside and you've got to be able to get rid of that to do away with um, the, the security that they have between the wood and the elements. Anyway, um, my point is that the easiest way to get that bark off of is with a draw knife. Now they make different kinds. This one happens to be a straight draw knife as you can see. Um, and the handles are on, they don't just slide up on the end, these actually, these handles actually go through the blade and are bolted on, so that's the reason that I like this particular one. And um, you can get blades that are curved, you can get shorter ones, you can get longer ones, um, but this particular one is the one that we're going to give away because I've been able to do most of the work here. I made this outdoor kitchen, skimped these big logs and these smaller posts here. Now it would have been easier if I'd have had a smaller one. Uh, but this is what I had and it worked fine. So this is what we've decided, like I said, to give away for the month of um, August. And now this isn't a factory edge. The factory edge comes fairly sharp. You do need to put a rock on it and try to hone it down a little bit finer. And just with the axes that I've bought, purchased, you know, and things like that, uh, factory edge is so-so. So you need to touch it up somewhat. And I did put some linseed oil on these handles, but they're nice wood handles. and. Um, they get a lot of oil <laughs> from my hands as well as sweat um, and anything else that comes along. Um, it's a little bit dirty, but uh, it's a very nice blade, like I say. So this will be the giveaway for the month of August. And hope somebody that wins this, you know, they can use it to, you know, maybe do a little whittling and uh, things like that for some projects that they may have or they may want to try. You know, um, before I did this outdoor kitchen, I'd never done anything like this before. Um, so I thought, well, you know, let's give it a shot. Um, most of the stuff that I've uh, used uh, or built before, I used material that was straight. You know, this is the first time I've done everything with stuff that was curved and twisted. But uh, anyway, so that's the giveaway for the month of August. Hope some lucky winner uh, appreciates that. And, you know, we're trying to give away, again, things that people can use to um, enhance their outdoor ventures. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off, I'll head home after this video. We will uh, pull the video up for the month of July for our giveaway. We will take those names of the comments that were made on that video, we will put them into the random picker, and then we will draw the lucky winner for the month of July. So, stay tuned, and I'll meet you back at the house.
Hey guys, well I'm back at home now, so what I have done already is I have pulled up uh, the video for the month of July and I have copied, I'll show you here in just a second, I have copied the URL and pasted it in and <coughs> we are going to generate a winner for the month of July for the Beavercraft carving kit. So turn around here with me and we'll see who the lucky winner is. Okay, so what I did, you can see this blue where I copied and pasted on this video right here and I actually put it in right here and I went and I got all the comments that were made which was 182 comments so what we're going to do now is we're going to start the random picker and it will pick a winner David Briggs you are the winner for the month of July well congratulations to you David Briggs you're the winner for the bushcraft um, carving kit from Beavercraft um, so I hope that you enjoy that I really do like mine and folks we get these questions all the time the way to enter these uh, giveaways is look for the video like this one that comes out around the first of the month okay it's that video only where you scroll down to the bottom where you make a public comment on that video make any kind of a comment. We would prefer that you would make a comment on a video that you would like to see. That way it kind of gives us ideas of maybe, you know, changing up or adding a little uh, something to what we're doing. But, um, you know, that's where you make the comments. You can't make them on the other videos. So, be watching for the first of the month video that has the winner and also the new item that we're going to give away. And on that page on YouTube, Go down there where you can make a comment on the video and you're in. So anyway, David, be sure and contact us within two weeks because if you don't, we're going to have to draw another winner. And send us by email, our email address, smokymountainoutpost at gmail.com, how we can get in touch with you and get this item shipped to you. Anyway, congratulations and let's get back to the video. So we hope you enjoyed what we could bring you on putting in this uh, countertop using used materials, uh, all the stuff that I had left over, or leftover materials actually. Um, but we're going to go ahead and call it a day because it is late evening and we had to kind of wait till things died down with the generator. Uh, everything got soaked. I mean it was, it was actually coming in at about 30 degree angle going this way. So quite a bit of this got uh, wet on the edge and of course, you know, us tracking it back and forth now, the whole floor uh, probably half of it's wet from walking around on it. But anyway, we hope you enjoyed this. You know, we really appreciate you guys supporting our channel when you stop by and hang out with us up here at the Outpost. We want to wish everyone a great evening. Take care. We look forward to seeing you back up here again next time.